longer day at school than usual for like federal testing, but I'm about to go get my hair done. It's like 2.30. You can definitely see there's like some brown at the roots right here. And so I'm just doing my regular balayage. But before I went, I wanted to show you guys this really cute bag that I have. It's this bag from Mystic Mondays and it's so cute. And I just have pretty much my wallet, phone, and some gum. For my outfit for today, I don't know if you can fully see it, but I have these blue parachute pants from Princess Polly, this black scoop neck back bodysuit from LA Apparel, and then my headband from CVS. And then my rings today, they're all from everywhere. salons in Newport and it's like our first nice day today. I feel like it's summer. I'm under the dryer now. It's my first balayage since October. addition because the lighting is good this is my favorite balayage i've ever gotten look at it and look at my outfit it's so perfect for spring i feel like this is going to carry me through summer so well i'll be back in six months for you i thought now would be cute for us to journal together so I'm gonna be doing a continuation of what I did this morning. If anybody wants to know what journal I use, it has a heart on the front and some writing in Latin, and it's by Madison Park, but I just got it at Barnes and Noble, but it's so cute, and I love that it's hardcover. If it's not my business, then who's when it's up to you to choose?
conversation Am I just fiddling out? Taking space, not with as much grace Am I a second choice of all or not a Rolls Royce? Let's move on to my altar because it's one of my favorite parts of my room. So I know I already have a purple altar cloth on here, which is pretty good considering it's a Venus full moon, but I'm feeling something more intense, so I might do a pink or red. Especially with the spring vibes coming in, I feel like everything is blooming and I want something a little bit more bright. I found this magenta bandana and I think this is the perfect color and it kind of matches my nails too, so I feel like that's a sign. So I think I'm just going to put this as the background for everything just like the purple one was and I'm only going to switch out a few things. Right now I just have a single card reading for my mom's deck which I'll also link down below in the description. I have my Gemini journal, some incense, a truth finding candle that's purple, my Himalayan salt lamp, my tarot deck, my tarot bag, and a few other knickknacks. I think for my full moon reading tonight, which you guys will also see later, I'm going to use a different deck. I think I'm going to go with the slow tarot, a lot of trees in it and fairies. So I think I'm going to use that and it has notes of green, pink, and purple in it, which are the Venus colors too. It's not Sunday, so it doesn't exactly correlate, but don't come for me. I'm going to be switching out my purple answers candle for this yellow solar plexus candle. And it's also in this little bird dish, which I think is really cute. I think it's going to bring a lot of confidence and irradiating energy into this bright, beautiful spring. Then I'm gonna keep my shell, I'm gonna keep my crystals, and I'm gonna keep my name board. I'm gonna flip my name board over to the other side, which shows the cardinal directions. I feel like spring is a new beginning and a time of choice in our lives, and we're exploring. I love it. I'm gonna keep my lavender incense because it's my favorite scent. Okay, so the spell elements I'm gonna be adding start with this wooden 
female carving. Next, I'm gonna put up this sun-kissed perfume that my mom got me in a little roller bottle. It's from a small store, but it smells like summer. I think it's gonna help me get through these last few chilly weeks before we have beautiful California days and beach vlogs will be coming. So lastly, I'm gonna add this Jade Luck bracelet just to charge overnight and then I'm gonna wear it every day until the next new moon. Obviously this bracelet already has its own magical properties, but I just wanna charge it myself and set my own intentions just like I did with the journaling just now. So now that I've figured everything out, I think I'm gonna do my switching around and then figure out the placement. really beautiful full moon so far so i think to end off this vlog i'm just going to do a ritual bath so i just went over to my mom's apothecary and i'm going to be showing you the herbs and spell elements i'm going to be using for my bath First of all, I'm gonna be using my favorite eucalyptus oil. This embodies mercury energy for today of Wednesday, and it also helps you focus and feel more revitalized and relaxed as we all need to on this full moon. So next, I'm also gonna be using my all-time favorite lavender bath salts. Lavender is my favorite herb, purple is my favorite color, and bath salts are really great for relaxing the muscles and keeping us grounded like we need to be on the full moon. I went outside to my front garden gate and picked three sprigs of rosemary. And then lastly, I'm going to be using this Jasmine Soul Refreshing Sea Salt Body Wash and Foam Bath. Mm -hmm. 